this is an old Xbox motherboard I'm just using it just to show you the um, standard heat sinks and what I'll be replacing them with now I managed to get these I thought these would these would do the job but then I thought I think I can do a bit better than that so I went out and got two of these um, they were a lot bigger more heat pipes so in theory this should um, cool the processors a lot better okay so I've got both of the heat sinks on one's for the um, CPU and one's for VGA I've just quickly put I haven't put the rest of the bolts in yet because this is just to test it to see what sort of temperatures I'll get and then once everything is alright and I've ran some tests I'll um, put the rest of the bolts in and start to put it in the PC case I am going to do two tests I'm going to play a game for an hour without the fans and see what temperatures I get and then I'm going to turn it off, let it cool down for about half an hour and then turn it on with the fans on and see um, what improvements I can get from not running the fans um, I've put some heat sinks on these uh, memory chips there um, will be the, these will be the um, these are the temperature um, LCD screens One's for VGA and one's for CPU. This is the CD drive for the Xbox. I've had to extend the um, cables for the um, CD drive. Easy enough to do. Um, yeah, these easy heat sinks are massive compared to the um, the um, stock ones that the Xbox comes with. So I'll turn it on. Right, I've just turned the Xbox on. These are the temperatures I'm getting at the minute. So these are basically room temp temperatures at the minute because I've just turned the Xbox on. So the top one is um, VGA, which is at 37. Bottom one, which is C CPU, is 37. And both are slightly climbing and my xbox is just in the main screen in the main menu doing nothing at the minute fans are on the slight whisper you can hear is the dvd drive it's got the gaming but again it's not running so i'll just see what temperatures they'll they'll climb to why it's like that right, I'll just Okay, so I've just been playing the game online. Um, about 20 minutes now. Slowly climbing. VGA is 52. And uh, CPU is at 52.8. Both are climbing. But it's weird that they're both reading at 50s in the 50s. Right, so I'm going to stop the test here now without no fans. In the 50s a fine, as a lot of people will say, but um, the whole point of this is not to put my Xbox under any stress, so I'll turn it off now and then um, let it cool down for half an hour and then turn the fans on and try it. Play okay, so it's been sitting in the dashboard for about 10 minutes now and temperatures are still basically room temperatures so um, we'll start the game up what I will do is eventually I'll install this game on the hard drive so you won't, you won't get the noise of the CD drive um, the game I'll be using is Battlefield 2. Okay, so I've been playing this game for about half an hour now uh, online. Fans go in. And v the CPU is 34. 
which is weird, I've never seen that before, between two temperatures. If anybody can explain maybe why that that is, I'd be interested to know, but um, the temperature um, sensors have not been moved since I um, put these new heat sinks on in the exact same place as I had them in when I had the original Xbox heat sinks on. And I think when I had the original heat sinks on, basically when the Xbox was standard, as, as they come when you buy them from the shop, my um, BGA temperature was in the 70C area and the um, CPU was in the 50s. So there's quite a big difference. So there's quite a big difference now considering from standard to, um, to this. Oh, and anybody that says that um, these aren't these temperature sensors aren't connected to this Xbox, because no doubt I'll get somebody that will say that. You can see the cables there. They quite clearly go underneath there, straight to where the processor is. I don't know if you can see it there. And these two um, temperature sensing probes are located underneath each heat, heat sink um, and I'll show you on an old Xbox that I've got where I've put them ok so this is just an old Xbox I'm showing you where I've put these temperature sensors and I've put one just in the gap there there's like a little gap there and it is glued with a two part epoxy glue it's just a tiny bit sensor goes in there and um, not on this, not on that, it's straight in between there. I don't know if you can see it properly because of all the thermal paste, but uh, it goes straight in between there, just in that gap there. So the, t the heat sinks can still fit flush with the main chips. Uh, that is the VGA chip, and this is the CPU chip. And again, I've just put the sensor just there, and that bit there, that side bit, as close to this chip as I can. And then um, that almost definitely gives you accurate temperature readings um, I know somebody that put the um, temperature sensors in the exact same places where I have and um, they had a, a JTAGged Xbox which means they can actually read the temperatures from the Xbox they don't have to use these temperature sensors and um, it took a, a about about a minute or so for the um, for these temperatures to match the actual motherboard software temperatures that are built in. Now after about um, two or three minutes um, these temperatures were exactly the same as the motherboards what the motherboard was reading out so I know them temperatures especially now this Xbox has been on for like an hour now and it's still going and so I know them temperatures are exactly how they are if I was reading them straight from the motherboard 